joking aside over here, tonight I'm going to try something very difficult. I say try because there's no guarantee I'm actually going to get out of this. In a minute, I'm going to invite two guys up from the audience who I've never met, and they're going to tie me up with about 100 feet of rope. All right, do we have a couple of guys that like to come up here and give me a hand? Come on up. Don't be shy. Too. Go ahead. Here we go. Come on up. Let's go. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God's coming up. Hey. Oh God. Hey, what's your name, man? I'm Bill. Bill. Everybody give a round of applause for Bill. Yeah. And Tom. Oh God. And John. All right, John. All right, guys. You're not okay. <laughs> that's another show. That's another kind of show. Okay, basically what's going to happen is I have about a hundred foot hank of rope here and these guys are going to tie me up as tight as they can so that I can't escape. Alright? The only thing is don't tie me to the mic stand. It's very expensive. You know, try not to strangle me or anything. You want to hold that rope and start untangling it? Now you guys can tie me any way you want. Hands first, legs first, whatever. And while you're on doing that, I'm going to tell you guys what's going to happen. And why I'm doing this. See, whenever uh, I do this, I'm hanging that sign up with the reward offer. People say, well, you know what, if you do this a lot, man, then, then you know, what, how, why is that hard? That's one of the things people ask me. And another thing they ask me is, after I'm done and they see that sometimes my arms are shredded and I've had crushed bones and pulled muscles and torn ligaments, they ask me why I do it. You guys ready to start? All right. Just so I can still, so, just so they can still hear me. Any way you want, man. Behind your back. Whatever. It's up to you. Now I never met these guys before. Absolutely. All right. And we didn't set up anything or prearrange, right? It's the first time you've ever done this. Okay. Now a lot of people ask me why I put myself through this. Like I said. And when I was in, con I was doing a college tour one time, years ago. And there was a student in the audience in the front row, and he was from another country, I could tell. Here it turns out he was an exchange student, but as they were tying me up like these guys are doing, this guy had this look on his face like he was watching, I don't know, surgery or something, like heart surgery. He was squirming, he was really upset. And yet when I got out, he was struggling along with me, and when I finally got out, this dude led to standing ovation. And I asked him later, I said, you know, he came backstage, and I said, what was that all about? Are you okay? It turns out that this guy was a refugee from a country that was at war. When he was a kid, he used to see the bad guys, as they call them now, parading their prisoners right by his front door, tied up. And they would take them to the prison or the work camp or something and they would never come back. And he said that it was really touching for him to actually see somebody escape and actually be able to get out. And when somebody tells you something like that, you don't forget, you know? Keep going, guys. I got legs, too. I got legs, too. There we go. So this, when he told me that, it kind of made me think, you know, like this might mean something to some people. And I know all of us, all of us, have been in situations where we've been beat down and tied down and kicked, you know what I'm saying? How many here work 40, 50, 60 hours at some shit job for shit money for some shit boss who tells you what to do only because he's got a thing that says supervisor on his door? Right, you know what I'm talking about. And then you get your paycheck and you see how much they take away and how little you're left with. How you doing? All right. I know they're doing it tight because my hands are turning purple. This tight. Yeah, and it's getting harder to breathe. So anyway, I always think about that when I do this. You know, it might mean something to some people. They're really doing a good job there. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter how many times they kick you and push you down, you still get up, right? 
Absolutely. There you go. Keep going, buddy. Now, you know, the cool thing is, like, since I never met these guys, they could be sailors or they could be, you know, crab fishermen, expert at tying knots, something like that. Wackos. Uh-oh, he's laughing. I can't see. All right. All right, hey, give these guys a round of applause.